Let's do one of these problems, start to finish, see how it works out for you. Now, if you're in my dosage calculations course, which you should be, you have this drug label right above here to print out. If you're not in my class for some reason, look here, I'm going really high tech here. Here it is right there. Take a screenshot. There you go. Well, we have an order for biaxin, biaxin, 0.3 grams PO, it's by mouth, BID, that means twice a day. But you're thinking, mm, I don't know, deep down in your psyche, or maybe you just have indigestion. You think, oh, man, something doesn't seem right. 48 pound patient, that just doesn't seem like the right amount I need to give to my patient. Well, let's check it out and see if it's safe or not. In fact, in this case, right on the drug label itself, it says usual dose for children. Now, it may say typical dose, it may say normal dose, it may say safe dose. That all means the same thing. The usual dose for children is 15 milligrams per kilogram per day. Again, what we're doing here, if you watch the previous videos, which you should have, or you won't know squat about what's going on here. That's our order, but we need to see if this order is safe. So we take what the drug company themselves say is a safe dose. It's 15 milligrams per kilogram per day. So 15 milligrams per kilogram per day. And we now need to multiply by the patient's weight expressed in kilograms, which I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out. I take the patient's weight in, if I can work this thing, yes. Patient's weight in pounds is 48. I take 48, I divide that by 2.2, that will convert to kilograms. You should know that already. Why, well, that's 21.8. So 21.8 kilograms, as I've said over and over. You really shouldn't use a rounded off number in a further calculation. It builds some error into that problem. The best advice is leave that number in your calculator and use that for the next step. It's really 221.818, blah, 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 keeps on going forever and ever. But now kilograms will cancel out because that's on the top, that's on the bottom. So 21.818181 times 15 is 327.2727272727, goes on and on and on forever. Again, you don't want to round this off and use that in the next step. Leave it as a big, long version in the calculator. But that's what? Important, important step. That is how many milligrams per day that is safe. That's how much for the whole day I can give my little 48-pound patient, and that's going to be safe. I still need to know how much is a safe amount per dose or in divided doses. How many times a day will I give this? Well, BID means twice a day. So I now divide this number by two, leave it alone there, right there, divide by two, and that's 163. 163.60 goes on and on and on. But now because I divide that by two times a day, that's just milligrams. That's a number of milligrams that is safe per dose, per divided dose. Meaning each time I give my patient the medicine. A safe dose is that amount. Well, what did the doctor say to give? Or the PA or the NP or the janitor, whoever came along and prescribed this. Uh, well, 0 0.3 grams, remember the, ooh, let's see. How many milligrams is that? Moving the death into, that's 300. So 300 milligrams is the order. Is that safe? Oh my goodness gracious alive, no. You're going to severely harm, well, you could, I don't, who knows, too much backs, and, but that's, a, that's an overdose, way, I'm almost twice too much. Is the order safe? No, that is not safe. It's way over what a safe amount is. Therefore, what do you give your patient? Nothing. You don't give him this. You don't say, well, that's what's safe. I, no, you don't give this either. You don't do anything. You don't do anything. So stop right there. You call the doctor, the whoever, the NP, the PA, and say, excuse me, uh, disguise your voice. <clears throat> Hello, this is George. And you uh, try to not let him know who you are because it's embarrassing to call him or her up. And you find out what to do.
So do you see what we're doing here? I hope you do. We had determined that is not a safe dosage. Now, what if you're asked, how much do I give? Well, you don't give anything. Leave it blank. The available amount, by the way, is here. I won't write that down. It's 125 milligrams per five milliliters. That's how strong this stuff is but you don't even do your dosage calculations because you're not gonna give this, you're not gonna give this, you're not gonna give anything. You got that, didn't you? Okay.